Hi BookTube, Sarah here and welcome to Novel Expectations. Today I'm coming to you with a weekend reads. Um, unfortunately, I had said I really wanted to start doing Friday reads again, but it is a little difficult for me because I do work until 7 p.m. And, you know, Fridays are typically stop after work at pizza, um, go to Starbucks, all that fun stuff. So I'm not getting home till after 8 at night. So it's just kind of difficult for me to then want to sit down and record a video. Even though these are really short and really quick and easy, it's still not, um, it still takes some time, right? So because on Saturdays I usually film my, um, my knitting podcast, um, I figured let's just all lump it in together in one lump sum, get all my recording done, and I will be doing weekend reads for you guys. Because let's be honest, Friday reads are pretty much just weekend reads anyway. It's what you're going to be reading for the whole weekend. So what am I reading this weekend? The first thing that I'm reading on my Kindle is book number two in the um, Heather Graham series, in the Crew of Hunter series by Heather Graham, and that is Heart of Evil. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I'm about 60% of the way through it, I guess. Um, it is very, very ghost heavy compared to the first book in the series. I feel that I can absolutely talk about these books, even though um, it's part of a series, because this is the kind of series that you don't have to have read the book before it. It's and I know this isn't the word I'm looking for, but it's a standalone series, if that makes sense. You can read these books in any order. It doesn't matter. You're still going to get the gist. It's like the same group of people. It's like the Fool's Gold series um, for um, by Susan Mallory, I think, that it all takes place in the same small town. So you might have met a character in book one, and in this case, you met all these characters in the first book, but now it's the second book, so now we're focusing on a different main character who was just a supporting character in the first book, if that makes any kind of sense. So I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, like I said, I'm about 60-65% of the way through it. I will get it done this weekend. No idea what I'm reading on my Kindle next, but I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so the Back to My Childhood book that I am currently reading, that I try and read a couple chapters of this before bed at night, is The Surprise Party by R.L. Stein. I'm only about 20% of the way through this. I just started it. And it is very, very reminiscent of um, I Know What You Did Last Summer, that big movie that was out in the 90s, which is totally my generation. Um, so pretty much what uh, I have gathered now from this is that um, someone was killed a year ago and a person who was connected to that murder is moving back to town and they are throwing her a surprise party. It's not like when I say connected to the murder, it's not like they were a suspect, but I think they found the body or they were the girlfriend. I can't remember now. Isn't that horrible? And I literally just read it like two days ago. Um, but anyway, they're throwing her a surprise party, but now they're getting phone calls saying, don't throw the surprise party from some anonymous caller. So that's where I am so far. Um, it is creepy, and I do enjoy these books a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing with this one. And the last thing is my audiobook that I've been listening to, and that is American Murder Houses by Steve Leto. I am in chapter 8, not that that means anything, but I'm about, oh, sorry for the glare, guys. I'm about three or four hours, oh no, I'm only about two hours into it. And I'm not a huge fan of the narrator. Um, he's very monotone, um, and you can tell he's really trying to pronounce it. Does that make sense? Like, the pronunciation is really enforced. Um, it's still not bad. And I was listening to it yesterday on my way to work, and I'm like, this isn't really that scary. I mean, it's 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 very interesting, and it's very creepy, um, but it's not, like, looking over your shoulder kind of scary. So last night on my way home, you know, I'm like, well, I'm going to listen to a little bit on my drive home. Well, as you guys probably know, it's starting to get pretty dark at about 7 o'clock at night. Like, it's not pitch black yet, but it's getting dark. And I put it on, and about five minutes into it, I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's the atmosphere <laughs> that kind of got to me listening to this. But I'm really enjoying it, and um, like I said, it's very interesting. They, um, It's pretty much going in chronological order of um, these houses that are still standing in the U.S. that you can either go visit or now private residences that murders took place. And one of the ones that they talked about was um, the focus of the book In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. And I know that the girls from... The restricted section. Um, Sue talked about this book. They did a monster mash book tag which looks like so much fun and I kind of want to do it. I might do it during Halloween week when I do that. We'll see. But anyway, um, 
it, and their makeup was fantastic. I'm going to link the video in the down bar below. You guys have to check it out. They are fantastic. But anyway, um, they were, she was just talking about this book and I'm like, I had just literally listened to it, listened to like the story behind that, um, in the last, in one of the last chapters on this audiobook. And I now have it on my Kindle wish list. And when the hubby gets paid next, or when the hubby and I get paid next Friday, um, I do plan on picking it up. Don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I really, really want to read it. I've never read, I mean, this is a little different, but I've never read a nonfiction murder story. Like, do you know what I mean? Like a based on true fact murder story. And that just sounds really interesting to me. And yeah, and because I kind of know some of the background going into it, um, it'll be that much more interesting. So yes, thoroughly enjoying that one. Um, what else am I doing this weekend? Oh, it's the long weekend here in Canada. Um, it is Thanksgiving for us here. Um, and yes, our Thanksgiving is in October. Um, and as you can see, I'm wearing short sleeves. It's like, um, what is the temperature? Let me check. Because it's not... Um, uh, do, 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 do. We've got 20 Celsius, which double it and add 30 is 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees. It's about 70 degrees out here in the city of Toronto this weekend um, or today. It's supposed to get a little bit cooler um, Sunday, Monday, but Mondays are Thanksgiving and I'll be going to my grandmother's for Thanksgiving dinner, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we're not doing the traditional turkey. Um, we're probably doing roast and pierogies and cabbage rolls. My grandmother is Polish. She's 92. And she insists on cooking for the whole family. So if you want to know what I'm thankful for this year, it's that grandma is still here to celebrate Thanksgiving with us. But what else am I doing this weekend? As you guys can see over my shoulder, this is my like knitting seat. <laughs> my end of the couch with my lights for nighttime um, to knit. And yes, I have my yarn. But I'll show you guys what I'm working on this weekend if you're interested. I'll take this out. I am knitting another pair of socks. But I'm knitting my Halloween socks. Um, I've just started. This is the foot. Um, I'm about ready to put the heel in and then um, I'll be working at the leg, but yeah, um, the yarn is actually, the reason these are my Halloween socks is the yarn is called Beetlejuice. Um, so yeah, I can, I can see the Beetlejuice um, representation in here, which is super awesome. Um, yeah, I have this little uh, taggy guy here, um, of a little owl, um, for my podcast when I show stuff off. I always put um, a little um, progress keeper showing where I was the last time I recorded the podcast, so that way I can show how much work I've gotten done in like a week or so. And then the actual marker, oh, I thought I lost a needle. The actual marker um, that I'm using to mark the front of the sock, even though it really doesn't matter, um, is this adorable little black cat, because these are my Halloween socks, and it's actually living in this awesome little Halloween bag. So yeah, I have a couple other projects here that I'm also going to be working on. I just totally hit myself in the head, didn't I? Um, that I'm going to be working on, but yeah, this is the priority for the weekend, is I want to work on these socks, because they need to be done for Halloween, so I can wear them to work, so absolutely loving them, but anyway, so that's it for my weekend, guys, um, I'd love to know what you guys are reading and doing this weekend, if it's anything fun, um, if you are uh, a fellow Canadian, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you enjoy spending your time with friends and family, and if not, just enjoying your time off, um, if you are getting the time off, to my friends in the States, have a great weekend, and um, to everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.